Patty thing is my go-to, and I put it right here, and I put my computer right here, and so I paint like right here. And then of course I have this, is my plain air. Um, this whole thing here. I don't have a rule of, oh, I did it outside, I'm not gonna touch it again, but if it needs something, I'll change it. It's, to me, it's about having the best painting I can have. A lot of plein air painters paint in the studio a lot, but the plein air painting just makes them much better artists, and that's because you can really learn to see how things really look. The very first time I ever painted in plein air, all my energy went away because it was so exciting. Being a part of the environment and listening to the birds, you put more of the atmosphere or whatever's going on into the painting when you're there. When you you feel it more, I guess, and so you can paint better. The scene is constantly changing. The light is changing where the sun is. The shadows are changing. You could have a beautiful sunny day, and then it turns into a rainy day, or it could be just cloudy. You know what I mean? You just totally lose what you are really excited about. So you just have to kind of remember it. I do like architecture, but I like the straight landscape also. I just like to keep doing something different, I guess. One thing I love is things to be backlit, so really I just go look for something that just inspires me like that. I guess part of why I like it is I like taking little snapshots of history, just a little piece of time of, of what's going on right now. It's very exciting to me, to be honest. I mean, you work hard, you're in the studio by yourself or you're out plein air painting. And so then to, to work hard and then put it out to the public it is enjoyable.